And both Steiner, Jarrett, down after coming off the top. Steiner it is. the arm, gets on top, gets two! Um, hold cooking. Missed it by that much, Mikey. That one was really close. Oh, they're best friends, him and Ralph. I think you all know that. <laughs> I have known both these guys for 21 years. And it's so nice to have the power over each of them that I can book this kind of match on a whim. Don't get me wrong, Scotty wanted it. He asked for it. He asked for it respectfully. Jeff avoiding it like it was the plague. And you were quickly there to oblige. That's for sure. We see this Steiner recliner. This is going to be real tough for Jarrett after all the pain and punishment that he oh, suffered man. slowly. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a tremendous camera shot. I believe that's a Dirk special right there. Really bringing the action into our living rooms. How about your man Dirk helping you out? The barbed wire baseball bat at lockdown as Steiner goes down courtesy of Jarrett. And that was a uh, that was a highlight. That match was a highlight of my career and that moment uh, when, when uh, oh. Dirk and, Oh, come on, Jeff. First time we've seen this ever. Wait, wait, I give him Santa Claus pogo sticks, trash cans, and he's using a guitar. Here it is, the wind-up. Uh. And the connect the guitar gets wrapped right around the head of Steiner. And the follow-up is the stroke. Face first down. Here's Jared for the cover. Here's two and yes. Hey, good match. Here's yeah. your winner, the king of the matter. True winners, so there's Kurt Angle. Go. True winners are TNA fans. Kurt Angle, folks! I think he's going to check on the health of Steiner. And not only that, oh, he's going to take wrong. Jared up. And the angle slam from the leader, guess, the godfather of the main event mafia, Kurt Angle. I, I guess I was wrong about Kurt's intentions there. He's not done. There goes the ankle lock. Look at him apply the pressure oh, to Jared's ankle. And Is that's, that the, that's injured the injured leg, leg oh, yes. Come on, we neither of us know for sure. Yeah. Well, hold on, honest, just, well, hold on. They're going a little too far here. I'm going to go protect the foul. Not only the ankle lock from Kurt Angle, but also the Steiner recliner. Mick Foley's going to go protect the TNA founder in his own words. I'll tell you what, Jeff Jarrett made a lot of enemies in lockdown. And Kurt Angle's another one that you don't want to just keep taking off. And, whoa! Well, wait a minute. What's the Mick Foley chair shot to the back. The things that Jeff did to him at the beginning of the show. Jeff needs to thank this guy. Talk about, oh, it's somebody something. Wait, wait, wait. Wow! That's what I'm talking about. Wow! He, Nick Foley just told us he was going in to protect Jeff Jarrett. He lays him out with the steel chair. We're going to stay on top of the story. We're going to have Mick Foley explain his actions when we return. In the moments ago, here on Impact, Jeff Jarrett victorious over Big Papa Puff Scott Steiner in the Cactus Jex Mac attack match, but then Mick Foley left the TNA announce table. I'll tell you what, he went over there and he, he gave the chair shot to Kurt Angle. We're wondering what's he doing helping Jeff Jarrett and then turns it right back on the founder and levels him. Mick Foley! Bad decisions! I don't have anybody to blame but myself. I knew six months ago when we hired you, you were a whack job. Mick, this ain't business anymore. This is personal, and you have broken a personal relationship. Mick freaking Foley, the next time I see you, I'm gonna shove a pink slip up your damn ass.